girls. Good morning. 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 It is magna nine. Di pa ako na tutulog. Hello ka. Di na naman ako makatulog. Hi. Why is why is it like this? <laughs> anyway, tutum na ako and nagising na rin si Kenneth so um bubango na lang din ako. Yeah, let me put you right there. Hindi pa ako nagsusukla and hilamo so I still have like some pimple patches over jar. Pasensya na. But um yung lulutuin kong breakfast for us is going to be bread pizza. Char. Parang pizza pero bread lang pala siya. So meron tayong pineapple tidbits dito. Gawa tayo na parang Hawaiian pizza. Palambot na rin ako nitong cooked ham. So we have tomato sauce and some cheese. So let's do this. Very simple and then you just you're just going to add everything um together on top of the bread, diba? Tapos meron ka ng bread pizza. Okay. So yung aking chopping board um, nilagay ko siya dun sa may labahan namin sa laundry area tapos sinoke ko siya in bleach and water kasi yun yung may nag-comment kasi na um, I can do that para mawala yung staining ng aking ano, chopping board para it will look brand new again kaya ginawa ko siya, nandito pa siya sa labas I'll let you see Ayan, naglaba din ako kahapon. Kaya lang parang nasira yung washing machine namin. Ayun yung mag-greens. Kaya, ewan ko na lang. Kaloka. Ayun, yung isang chopping board na malaki. Tapos, ito yung maliit. So, tignan natin kung effective ang bleach water bath. Chop. Yung ba ang tawag doon? Bleach water bath. Alright, so apat muna yung gagawin ko. And first step, maglalagay tayo nitong tomato sauce. On top of bread like so. As much or as little as you want. Itong tomato sauce na to is Filipino style. So, it's going to be um, a little bit sweet. Pwede rin naman yung, ano yung, if you want yung medyo sour, you can get yung original or Italian style. Whatever floats your boat. There we go. Like so. Tapos, spread lang natin using our spoon. Spoon jud. Para medyo marami yung nalagay ko. Anyway, that's fine. Hindi mas masarap. Mas marami, mas masarap. Di ba? Lagay tayo ng grated cheese on top. And then, Maglagay naman tayo nitong mga sliced ham. Pwede din kayo maglagay ng onions if you like. Pero para sa amin, bongga na to. And pineapple. Yan. Diba? Hawaiian pizza na. Charan! So, eto na siya. Now, ready na tayo na ilagay siya sa ating oven toaster. Kasi oven toaster lang naman meron kami. Okay, so ilagay na natin siya inside. Ayan. Tapos, make sure your oven toaster is um, yung nasa setting na top and bottom yung heat. And probably, I'll just put it at 3 minutes. 
Tapos, let's check on it later. Turin, finished product. So, hindi ko na siya pina melt talaga yung cheese kasi masusunog yung baba. So, here's mine. Tat lang sa akin. Apat kay Kenneth. And we have some Milo. Plano ko pa naman sana mag ano ka, mag ano today, make up, make up ba? Pero, tsaka ang skin, walang sleep. And nag manicure pa ako kagabi oh, para maganda sa video. Pakabukas na naman. Ah, yes! Tikman natin. Parang, ano, parang mommy's pizza. Mommy's ba? Mommy's ba? Mommy's. No, mommy's. Mommy's pizza. Or yummy's or... Basta yung mga pizza sa ano? Sa street. <laughs> Ang fresh pa rin ni Kenneth, kahit kakagising niya lang. Habag. Habag at tayo. May lamos na ka? Alis na gila. Alis na gila yung ilo. Ayan, so for lunch time, iba naman yung lulutuin natin. Pasensya na medyo haggard na kasi nakakaloka maglalabas sana ako. Pero nasira na talaga yung washing machine namin. Ayaw mag-flow ng water sa loob. Okay naman yung hose namin, pero ewan kung do you know how to fix it? Hindi ko alam paano kakaloka. Kaya ayun, nahagard na tayo. Anyway, today we're going to make yung trendy na rice cooker fried rice. Parang fried rice, pero sa rice cooker siya iluluto or lulutuin or iluluto. Anyway, I have my rice right here. Hindi naman sinabi doon gano'ng karaming rice. I'll put the link pala nung um, panood kong, you know, video nito in the description box below. Pero, naglagay lang ako ng 2 cups ng rice tapos kailangan mo daw siya i-soak for 20 minutes. So, nakasoak na to. 20 minutes na. So, i-rinse ko na to. Ayan. So, na-rinse ko na siya. And then, the next step is kailangan mo ng dalawang eggs. Sana nga tama yung like, gano'ng karami yung rice ko. And we tignan na lang natin. If it doesn't look the same sa video, then magdagdag tayo ng isang itlog. Ayan. So, you need dalawang binating itlog. Like so. Tapos, dinagdagan, um, nilagyan niya ng konting um, suka yung itlog. I don't know why. Pero maglagay din tayo ng konting suka. Like mga that much siguro. Para saan kaya ito? I don't know. Tapos, i-mix daw. And then, ilalagay mo itong mixture na to here sa rice. And then, mix it all together. And then, tapos, you need to leave it there for um, 10 minutes daw. So, iwan na naman. Masyadong matagal ang preparation itong rice cooker fried rice. So, magpa-timer tayo dito. 
10 minutes. Okay. Right, so while waiting na mag 10 minutes, painitin natin ang ating pan. Pasensya na, nagluto kami ng dynamite kanina. So, meron pang remnants. And, dito ko na lang siya lalutuin since may konting oil na siya dyan. Kailangan natin lutuin yung meat for our um, fried rice. Ito yung sabi nila na gagamitin. This is Chinese chorizo na Kuang Bi yung brand. Um, I'll flash a photo of what it looks like right here. Tapos, you will also need green onions pang toppings. Optional lang naman siya yung green onions. And you will need mixed vegetables. Dun sa video na pinanood ko, um, gamit niya is corn, peas, carrots, and celery. Pero wala tayong celery. Ay, yeah. Ay, hindi pala corn, celery, and carrots. Pero ito na lang. Mixed veggies para mas madamat. Okay, so mainit na siguro to. Let's add our Chinese chorizo first. So you don't really need a lot kasi super flavorful na malito. And it's actually pretty fatty. <laughs> So, lutuin mo daw siya for around 2 minutes para maglabasan daw ang mga oil and the fat. Okay, there we go. Tama na siguro yan. Now, let's add our mixed veggies. I think it was around this much. And let's turn it off. Tapos, balik tayo dun sa ating rice. Alright, so it's been... 10 minutes and i-flatten na natin ito kasi we will get it ready para iluto siya. I'm excited. Ano kaya yung lasa nito? Sana worth it. Ang hirap. And then, yung water daw, just add enough na makover yung rice. So just like that, ayan, na-cover lang siya. Para ang konti mo. <laughs> Pigil mo sunod sa instruction. So ayan, just enough to cover daw. And then, add your meat and mixed veggies on top. And then, i-flatten natin siya. Put it in. Ja and cook. Kakaloka. Sabi doon, cook for 30 minutes. Pero, hindi mo naman nakakontrol to, di ba? So, yeah. Kasi very basic rice cooker lang to. So, hintayin lang natin na maluto siya. And then, kakain na tayo. It's done. Kaya lang, medyo, may basa-basa pa konti. Sabi doon, i-mix daw after maluto na. Ang natuin, parang basa-basa pa. <laughs> Is it a fail? Ayan. 
ay. Yung ilalim is lutong-luto, pero yung nasa taas is basa. Fail siya, guys. Bigas pa yung kanin. Kailangan yung ano yung yung magandang rice cooker yung meron kayo. Pwede mo. Ganyan. Top off with um, green mm. onion. No. Pero ano? Okay siya tignan. Pero kapag kinain mo, matigas. So this is the finished product. Yeah. Fail. <laughs> Nakain ako ng rice today. After three or four months of no rice. Mmm. Kain tayo. Utom na gutom na kami. Alas dos na. Feeling ko dahil talaga sa ano, rice cooker. Huh? Ewan ko lang. Ewan ko lang. Dapat pala ko 